Hello everybody. Today the church um, celebrates John and Charles Wesley. Uh, John was born at uh, Epworth Rectory in, in Lincolnshire and he was a, a son of an Anglican uh, clergyman and, and uh, it's no surprise also a Puritan mother. And he entered holy orders and uh, following a religious experience on this day in 1738 he began um, an itinerant ministry um, which recognised uh, no parish boundaries, which was uh, resulted um, in, the, in the, the birth, I suppose, of the Methodist Church. His spirituality involved um, a, 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 a kind of a real great affirmation of faith, um, which comes from grace, his open-air preaching. And he has a, a, a quite a connection um, with, um, with Maranabone, um, where, where he did some of his, um, his, his, his preaching. Charles, his brother, um, uh, um, was also part of that, um, obviously that family and that growth, and he was a, a prolific, prolific um, hymn writer. And uh, I'm going to just sing, as, as, as we remember them today, just a line or a verse of um, one of his hymns and perhaps you might like to as part of your daily devotion get one of his hymns um, and, and, and sing it with gusto Rejoice the Lord is King your Lord and King adore mortals give thanks and sing and triumph evermore Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Jesus the Saviour reigns, the God of truth and love. When he had purged our stains, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail. He rules o'er earth and heaven. The keys of death and hell are to our Jesus given. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. He sits at God's right hand till all his foes submit and bow to his command and fall beneath his feet. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Thank you, Charles Wesley, and thank you, John Wesley, both of you, for all that you have given us um, and our faith. Let us pray. God of mercy, who inspired John and Charles Wesley with zeal for your gospel, grant to all peoples boldness to proclaim your word and a heart ever to rejoice in singing your praises. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.